I want my bod. No, I want my bod. You come from a family of thieves and butchers. It is stuck family is destroyed. I'm getting there. What's happening, my fellow? What's happening, my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris, and today marks episode two in Mr. Whippy. So today's episode is a recap from a couple of weeks ago when I was at Miles's place. We took a 3D scan of my body in an athletic skin with parts of the leather harness also taped to my body, just to get an idea for the Whiplash Exoskeleton. Now before I touch on that, this is a very quick makeup test. The weekend of Supernova Sydney has just passed. It was an amazing weekend to say the least. Sort of exhausting, but glad to be moving forward. So I obviously have shaved the beard off, minus the dirty little mo and goatee just to give an idea of how I'm gonna look as Ivan Vanko in September. Here is a photo I took yesterday with all my hair down, of course, I've got the dirty old man bun going on at the moment just to emulate that look that he has in the film when he's dressed in casual wear with Justin Hammer. And yes, I still have to acquire my butt. So of course I still have to do a full makeup test with a proper facial scar, the brown contact lenses, the silver grill, a fake tan, the black wash through my hair, the grey wash or white wash through my hair, and of course the white little half of the goatee. So pretty happy overall, once those elements are added, it's just going to bring this cosplay up another notch. Now let's talk about body scanning. So I have a lot of footage that I will be showing you guys, I'm pretty much introducing this video, showing you guys the footage that I took from Miles' place, and then I'll do my outro. So we used an Xbox Connect to scan my body, I kid you not, this is something that you can use, that you can hook up to your computer with the right software and the right Right computer, it can be easily done on the cheap instead of spending $20,000 on a traditional hand scanning device. I'm serious, these things cost about $20,000 or up to $20,000. Granted, you get a lot cleaner scan, but my god, for like a $40 to $60 Xbox Connect, it does the trick. Now, not only are we going to be showing you guys how we did the scanning process, but I'm also going to be showing you the files that Miles has created so far, the exoskeleton, most notably the back and the spine. That is going to be the toughest job of this whole cosplay. We already have the arc reactor in the brackets for the front harness to be mounted on, but we just really want to take our time on that back because there are going to be servos, there's going to be electronics going on. We want the little toggles on the spine to be moving up and down like that scene in Monaco, 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 tomato, tomato. When he gets pinned to the fence by Happy and you almost see the spine kind of reset and wake him up. So all in all the scanning process took about half an hour to do and then what Miles did is he draped the files that he had made so far over my scan. He had to readjust them because my arms were a bit different to the 3D mannequin form that he was originally using. So what I'm going to do now is show you guys all the footage I got from Miles's place. Miles also explains how the process works, what software he uses. Software is shit. Hopefully it all makes sense to you guys. It's still trying to make sense with me. Miles is the brains of this operation. I just weather stuff and throw dirt and shoe polish at stuff. So this is an Xbox 360 uh, Connect mm -hmm. uh, with a 3D printed handle, but you don't really need this. Um, and then the other thing you need yeah, hardware wise is you buy this cable which converts the uh, Xbox 360 uh, connector to a USB connection. Yep. Plug it into some power, um, that powers up the unit, and then we use a program called Skinect, uh, which is here. This yep. is a just a test scan that we did from you before. Um, but this allows you to uh, go around, scan the object, um, and see in real time as it's creating the file. Yep. Um, you press uh, finish, it then creates a, a model for you to then edit and change uh, and then we import that back into the already designed parts to see if it lines up on your body structure. Yep. And that's it. So essentially with the connects, it, it's, a, it's a bunch of sensors, anything that it hits solid it bounces back and that's what... Yeah, so inside here there's a normal camera, there's an infrared camera um, and that uses, uh, it basically uses the infrared distance to, to work out the distance between the camera and the object. And that that's how it can sort of see, not around corners, but it can see distance and, and in like a relative measure. Yeah. 
So, and then it uses the normal camera. You can take color images as well um, out of this and make a color model, but we don't need that today. So what we've done is we've taken an initial scan of just me in my athletic skins. And the next step is getting the base leather harness that I've constructed so far. We've got the front and we've got the back. Thank you, assistant. Um, so we're gonna tape it to my body because I don't have these straps. They haven't arrived yet. They're coming from eBay, but six of them. So we're gonna strap this to my torso, strap the belt around, and then we're gonna do another scan so we can get a really good idea of how this is gonna look, how all the pieces uh, are gonna look, and also scale them down accordingly. Uh, it's not a perfect scan, but it's a form. Yeah, it's a form. Yeah, that's like what you need. It, yeah, it doesn't need to be like it's a free scanner. That's yeah. the thing. Like it, you can get an Xbox Connect for, uh, you know, but like 40, 40, 50 bucks or whatever. Yeah, it's not as if we're in a dedicated room with eighty cameras. Yeah, exactly. It's... And it's enough just to sort of see to stylish form you can see the vest you don't see much of the tape there's a little bit down there obviously showing but oh it doesn't even matter do yeah um and then you, you can kind of see the belt we need to crop out parts we don't really need um so because this is basically an upper body build we're just going to remove the legs uh, because they didn't really spend a lot of time scanning them so there's a lot of big holes in there so what we can do is we can sink him down into uh, the bed and we go uh, crop to ground and this will remove all that kibble we don't need below uh, the waist so now it's done so now I have a model that is just Chris's uh, upper body and that's all we really need yeah so now we can start laying the bits on top of it and see how it looks so what we're doing um, we've got our standing Chris uh, which was old mate back here. So what we're doing now is we're just, we're importing the scan off Chris into Fusion, um, placing like this can take a little while, obviously to get the right angle. So we're looking from every angle, trying to make sure he's straight. It could be a bit crooked this way or uh, arms back and forth. Arms are a little bit wider spread than the, um, the model, um, but that's fine. We can just move all these around. So once we do that, we can turn off old mate and we're left with Chris, so now I can start moving these parts um, back. Chris's chest is a bit bigger than the... Um, Damn right. That's right. Uh, so I can move all these around, um, and yeah, I can start working on uh, how they're all gonna sit and look so that we have uh, a better thing to go on. Like obviously there's these little parts down here that are halfway stuck in, uh, stunk into the model. So I can actually angle those back um, so they sit on the vest properly. Um, work out where we can start using studs to bolt things in. So guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I know this wasn't a very big update, but I just want to lay the groundwork for how in depth this cosplay is going to be. So episode three is gonna be revolving around the completed leather harness. It is all done, it is all dusted. We have started to make a lot of progress. I know I said that in the previous episode, but we just really wanna make sure that we take our time when it comes to the electronic side, just so there's room for error and we can perfect this thing. So by the time the end of September rolls around, for Sydney Oz Comic Con, we are ready to go. Guys, have yourselves a cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time, geeks, please, always remember, cosplayers do it best. <laughs>